torturous days, lost in Hawaii's dense Makawao Forest Reserve. We are getting our first look at the waterfall from the air where Amanda was found on Friday. You can see it off in the distance there, and you can also hear that wind giving you a sense of the variable conditions that we are enduring right now as we fly over the area where Amanda was discovered. It gives you a sense of just how lucky she was. Volunteers in this helicopter spotting Amanda wedged in that ravine below. Her friend Javier rappelling down. And I'm like, do you recognize this voice? And she goes, Javier? It's like, you damn right it is. I've been searching for you for 16 days. A search party finding Amanda with a fractured leg and skin infection. Two volunteers helping to place her into the basket before she's airlifted to safety. How much of a, a miracle it was that you all actually spotted 100 percent bruh 100 percent this new video capturing the moment she finally touched down in a chopper relieved officers helping to carry her to an ambulance oh my god it's so nice to see you eller disappeared on may 8th on what should have been a three-mile hike what ensued instead was a two-week-long fight to survive in the unforgiving forest and these guys were not going to give up on me thank god <laughs> Hundreds of volunteers, dubbed Amanda's angels, spent nearly two weeks using repellers, helicopters, and even search dogs, but to no avail. Uh, she spent 17 days in this forest and endured a flash flood that swept away her shoes. The yoga instructor managing to survive in the wilderness by eating berries, plants, moths, and guavas to stay alive. Reportedly even spending one night in the den of a wild boar. The last 17 days of my life have been the toughest days of my life. Amanda now grateful to be alive, surrounded by her angels. Well, remember when IHOP changed its name to IHOB? That was to promote burgers, and now the company has teased another name change. This morning, they posted a cryptic tweet with the IHOB logo with the caption, What could the P be? Well, IHOP says the mystery will be solved on June 3rd. Hmm. Prune juice. <laughs> no. International House of Prune Juice. Yeah. Huh. Mm, interesting. Gosh, I kept thinking of, of, of food. And it's just I not... know what it is. Pizza. <laughs> I know. You don't have to tell me my ear. I can think fast. <laughs> my producer, my goodness. There you go. <sighs> All um, right. This morning was... Heavy rain, yeah. and I was watching Good Morning uh, Washington, and you were with Jessup, and I was looking at the picture behind us, and it was overlooking, it was our Watergate camera looking yeah. down the river, and it was dark, and you see the rain splashing out of the camera lens. All that is gone okay. for right now. So for now. Uh, better afternoon ahead. I know you like it hot. I do. You like it on the humid side, I and it. Uh, you got it. It's going to be you in for full delivering. force this afternoon, and then tomorrow even hotter yet. Outside, uh, if your allergies are bothering you, tree pollen in the low category, but everyone's been cutting their lawns. The grass is growing like crazy. Now in the high range, weeds not so bad, mold in the moderate range as we uh, head through the day today. Here's our vantage point overlooking the Pentagon. A little bit of haze out there right now. We're home at the Beach, Delaware, looking good, but it's quiet. I guess the cloud cover, and of course, everyone is home from the long holiday weekend. And over toward Reagan National Airport, looking good, and the Key Bridge. Always a beautiful shot for you from the Watergate Hotel. 78 degrees right now at Reagan National, already in the lower 80s in Leesburg, Manassas, Warrington, and Culpeper. Stormwatch 7 satellite and radar. What you see right over here, that is clutter, so nothing to worry about in terms of rainfall around the Leesburg area. We are looking at brighter skies on the way later later on this afternoon. If you are going out to lunch, dress for comfort, stay well hydrated. Temperatures lower to middle 80s. Our future cast does want to paint a few showers rolling on through, especially to the north of us as we head through the dinner time hour. Once again, I'm not expecting a whole lot around the immediate metro, but just keep a watchful eye to the sky. Download your Stormwatch 7 weather app and we'll see highs that will eventually make it into the upper 80s and lower 90s. Now it's going to be a warm and soupy start to your day tomorrow. Stay weather alert, not only for hot temperatures in the upper 80s to lower 90s out to the west, but around 90 to 93 degrees downtown DC, DC, Capitol Hill, K Street, over toward Old Town Alexandria, still on the hot side for Southern Maryland and uh, Charlotte Hall and Leonard Town, and temperatures upper 80s and lower 90s just to the south and west of us for Luray, Culpeper, and Orange. Let's talk about our forecast in terms of what it's going to feel like tomorrow. Middle to upper 90s, so a very, very hot day. 
Add in the threat for those strong to severe thunderstorms, especially Montgomery County into Loudoun County, also into Frederick and Garrett, Allegheny and Washington counties in Western Maryland. Our future cast does do a good job in painting a picture of those stronger storms later in the afternoon. Here is the line dinner time hour Western Maryland sweeping across the metro area. Keep in mind this is just a computer simulation tomorrow 730 just the beginning of jeopardy. You don't want to miss that right here on ABC 7. It's been absolutely awesome over the last few weeks. Temperatures are going to begin to drop slightly and then we're going to look for a cold front that's going to arrive here on Thursday. That cold front will likely trigger showers and thunderstorms and then we begin to clear things out as we head into the day on Friday. Highs then will be in the lower 80s. It's not going to be as sticky and humid, but three days at or above 90 degrees. That's going to be a mini heat wave for the DMV. This weekend we have a lot of commencement.